No one there, of course. Welcome back everybody to chapter 9 of the beast inside. Things are getting so crazy in this game right now. So I really hope that you guys have been following the previous chapters. If you haven't done that, check them out right away because it's definitely worth it. This story is so exciting and so amazing. Now right now in the previous chapter, chapter 8, we managed to escape from the mines but we were so close by getting killed by lots of evil entities. But once again, we were saved by that weird man or thing in mask. And I am starting to think that this, it might be our dad. I know it might sound weird, but I, I, I've got a slightly feeling that that might be our dad because he's really protecting us. But this is the bottom of some fucking well. What the How fuck? How do I get out? This is so typical, this story in this game. I, I mean, you're being thrown back and forth like crazy throughout the chapters. I mean, now we ended up in the bottom of the well and we are we are kind of like chained up to a dead body without a head <laughs> this is crazy we got a knife here oh that's a badass knife what are you gonna do are you gonna cut the hand off Fuck, I think I'm gonna puke. no don't don't force me to do this no boy Oh, disgusting! Wow, that was easier than I thought. That knife must be really sharp. Find a way out of the well. Family reunion! Oh, really? I really wonder who this dude is. Look at this. He was a sheriff. It's the sheriff! What the hell? But I wonder who did this to us. Was it the... The Soviet spies or... Okay, we need to find a way out of here now. Are we gonna throw a... Huge rock on that... Bad boy? Up there! Oh, watch your head, Adam! Watch your head! Okay, we got a chain. We gotta climb up. Come on, Adam. Use your CIA muscles, baby. Come on, you can do this. A little bit faster, please. Fuck, the plank is gonna break. No way! Oh! Go, 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 Adam! Come on! That was close. That was a close one. We need to continue, though. Come on, climb. Climb. There we go. Come on, we can do this, Adam. We can do this together. Oh, it feels like someone is gonna attack us now. Get away from the edge, please. God, I feel worried. I feel so worried right now. What kind of keys was that? Back to Emma as soon as possible. What kind of keys did we pick up? Was it the keys to the house? Okay, so so where are we right now? Uh, how did we end up here? Return to the house. Is it this house? Can't get in. Oh, wait a minute. This is the Soviet's hideout, the hideout spot. And it's right behind that house. So that's where we are. So it's probably the Soviets that did this to us. And they chopped the head off that sheriff too. 
They are fucking psychopaths. Oh my god. And those bad boys are actually stalking me and my wife. That feels really terrific. Really great, I must say. I'm not really sure, Adam, but you fucked up big time. I was gonna... I thought about another thing. I mean, we... <laughs> we were from the house about six hours last time. Six hours away from Emma. I wonder how she's doing right now. Is she still left, or...? Emma's alone at home. I must get back to her as fast as I can. Exactly! Exactly! You're reading my mind, Adam. That's exact. Exactly what I thought. You can't leave Emma for that long. I wonder how many hours we've been away now. Must have been many hours. At least six hours more. I guess. I mean, we were thrown down to a well. Shall I really jump down here? I'm not really sure. Is this the right way to go? I guess. I'm so afraid I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. I'm too young to die. Firewatch Tower Chapel. So, so we're going back to our house. I don't know if we are heading the right way or not, but uh, there's a flashlight for some reason. Can I pick it up? Someone dropped it here. I guess we're going this direction because it's the light is shining this way. It feels like the way is like it's kind of like shown for me right now. I give it a try. Oh, we have a saving point. I guess we're on the right track. But I do wonder so badly what Emma is up to right now, and how could we leave her? One more time. I mean, that, that that was that must be the, the most stupid decision ever to leave her again, when we know for sure that there are spies that are fucking onto us. Uh, okay. This that is a bridge I recognize. On the prowl. I just hope she's all right. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what you did, stupid. Lesson learned, I guess. There's a house over here. That's our house. The big mansion. Now we're finally back, but I got a really bad feeling about this. I got a really bad feeling about this. Emma! I'm coming for you, Emma! I'm, I'm, I'm back home after, I don't know for how many hours, but I'm back home. <laughs> okay. Emma! Where is she? Emma! Emma! Where are you? I guess it's too late now. Last time I saw her, she was in the office. But not anymore. Oh, shit. We fucked up big time. We fucked up big time. I guess she has been kidnapped now. Fuck Emma, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Emma! Where are you? I'm, I'm back home again. I'm still not able to enter these rooms. No Emma around here. Only uh, kind of Buddha is statue. I'm just gonna throw it away. Sorry for that. How about here? Oh, Emma! There you are! Um, he's been here again. This time... What happened to you? Why do you look like this? I fucked up again. I slipped and fell into a stream. I'm alright. He's come back. You hear me? He keeps harassing us. The phone doesn't work. Maybe he cut the wires, or... The important thing is, he didn't do anything to you. But he could have. Look what I found. God. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you alone. Did you meet the sheriff? Yeah. He, uh, 
No, kind I must of. have missed him. I found the telegrams, though. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about... Diary? Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find the remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child? I do exactly. think all the time. Then do something to keep us safe. And do it fast. It'll be over soon. I promise. I'm just gonna leave you for a few hours. <laughs> Trust me on this one, Emma. <laughs> Emma's on edge. She needs to calm down. I better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I've got his car keys. She needs to calm down. <laughs> oh, really, Adam? You're just leaving her all the time? Oh, here's Buddha. Should pick him up again. And fucking throw it away. Okay, let's check the car. Sheriff's car. Open it up. We got some documents here. Police report. He never had a chance to write that summary. The same person that turned our life to hell has also brought the sheriff's life to a brutal end. Alright. Damn, these are the events that Nicholas mentioned in his diary, so he didn't make up or embellish anything. Too bad I didn't know those legends before moving here. So, additional comments. The house that Mr. and Mr. Stevenson now live in has a very eventful history. In the 1850s, there was an accident in the nearby mine, and at least few people went missing in the immediate area. When the body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the mine's co-owner who happened to live in the very same house. It wasn't until years later the other, that other bodies were found, which is why the area has become shrouded in dark legends. The murder has never apprehended. Holy shit! What, what if we just read this before moving into the house? That would make everything so much easier. Just understanding that, no, nope, we shouldn't go down this road. We should just make a U-turn and get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. So many bad things we've done with this. But at least we can steal a lighter from the sheriff. <laughs> Where did he get that from? An uncle from the KGB? Or with a Russian engraving. Uh, is he involved with the Soviets, maybe? Hmm. Why would someone keep something like this? What is even a real officer or just some dummy sheriff? He was probably working with the Soviets, maybe. I'm not really sure. Throw it away. You got something here? Oh, What's another this? note. In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. What? What the fuck? Am I supposed to believe that my family and the Hydes are one and the same? That's fucking absurd. That's why they are Someone after you. Someone would have told you. me if we had such stories in our family history, wouldn't they? Unless... Unless it's bullshit. Bullshit invented by the sheriff. He wanted to set me up, mess with my head. W was he even a real sheriff? Oh, fuck, I seriously can't put my finger on this. So the police suspected Jacob's hide of killing John Norton. And then Jacob's son, Nicholas, was put into mental treatment. He mentioned being 10 years away from home in his diary, so it seems that he spent time in a mental hospital. It seems familiar, but I can't recall where exactly have been, I have seen it before. Definitely somewhere in our house. That's the thing in the office. Definitely that thing in the office, I think. So additional comments. While searching the Hyde family estate, the sheriff and the deputy found a hidden room located directly above the office. Inside in the dark there was Jacob's teenage son, Nicholas Hyde, covering on the floor. They were unable to communicate with him. The boy does not react to any stimuli, 
Perhaps he, he has fallen into a stupor as a result of abuse from his father. Young Hyde has been placed in the care of psychi psychiatrists who will decide on his further treatment. The sheriff has issued an arrest warrant for the fugitive Jacob Hyde with a bounty of $500. Holy freaking shit! Another secret. A hidden room in our house. I have to check it out. That fucker could have even been there when we moved in. Too bad I didn't know about it before. Too bad we didn't know about that before. Holy fucking shit. So the first thing I recognized was uh, this place, you, this statue over here. And then we have this place. This, this is it. thing. I just need to place the disc in the opening, just like in the picture. Just like in the picture. So how was the picture? Let's see. Uh, there's the disc, but we want to check the notes. And you want to place it like like that. Are we just going to give it a mighty old try? I want to use this one. Solve the riddle close to the fireplace. Uh-huh. Part of this text is invincible. How can I read it? What happens at night will be judged in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. So what happens at night will be judged in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be relieved in full light. Is it some kind of message you need to have like some kind of UV light to uh, see it with? I'm not going to be able to use the flashlight I guess. But I guess this one needs to be like this, maybe? Happens at night shall be just in daylight. What stays hidden in... Okay, so if we turn on this light... And uh, throw the cup away! Here we have something. 1846 AD. 18... No, 1864 AD. 1864... So we need to... That number sequence isn't random. Where is 1864? Let's see. 1864. And then we have A and D. Bingo. There we that go. Was well thought out, Nicholas. Yeah, well thought out, Nicholas. Let's open this bad boy. Come on. Yeah. And what do we got here? Clobus Cru Cruciger. This isn't just one. Just some trinket. It looks like it could fit somewhere. Mm hmm. Maybe at the statue. The right place. Maybe at the statue. Let's place it right here. Or somewhere here. Maybe here. He's pointing to this direction, so. I don't know. No. There we go. Okay. Oh, where's the hidden room? Oh, cool! Here's the hidden room! Oh boy, this feels what like a cozy place. place. What do all those words and symbols mean? Is this where Nicholas were hiding his porn magazines? No? Just asking. I make long trips without even moving. Human equals beast. The beast inside, aha! Everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other is a face of a beast. So that's why the game is called The Beast Inside. We both saw through a hole in the wall what my father did to that lady. Hunting dangerous game is the most fun. 
Okie dokie, whatever floats your boat, mister. We got a note here. The man in the mask. Now I know who he is. What's that? The man in the mask, now I know who it is. Do we really dare opening the door now? Doesn't feel like a good idea. Someone's at the door. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Hey, Emma, can you open the door, by the way? Forget about it. No one there, of course. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. That was one of the Soviets. At least we didn't leave Emma this time. Holy shit. And now we've been caught by the Russian spy again, or the Soviet spy, or whatever we want to call him or them. Holy shit. Before ending this, we must read this for, for the upcoming chapter. The man in the mask. I know who he is now. I figured it out when, the, when he came to my aid again. He's my father. I knew it. I knew it. When the detective died, he turned into an ice phantom that almost took my life. The frost scorched the skin on my hands and face. Ice cycles, ice cycles, headed for my heart. But my father, hidden behind the mask and the top hat, came to my rescue one more time. He shows up and disappears like a ghost. Does that mean he's dead like the others? And now he's trying to protect me beyond from the grave? I should have recognized him before, his clothes, top hat, but he was the bane of my existence when he was alive. So why is he on my side now? The more I know, the less I understand. <laughs> I mean, this story, I love this game and I love this story. And I hope that you want to join me on chapter 10 because you can't miss this out and as always if you like this video please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and i truly hope to see you in the next one Bye bye